Hey guys, what's up? So yeah, it's, it's me, Barrett. I got my hair cut and, and made my beard look like more badass and stuff, and that's because I, I'm getting serious now. I know a lot of you have been saying, oh, your voice is so weird and stuff, but it's just because I'm kind of shy and I get nervous sometimes, so that voice comes out even when I don't want it to. This is my real voice. This is the real me, okay? So I'm ready to just be myself and give you guys the tech news. Roll it. New leaks from an engineering sample have appeared for AMD's upcoming Raven Ridge APU, which will feature Zen architecture for the first time on an APU as well as integrated Vega graphics. The Psy Software Sandra benchmark database shows a 4-core, 8-thread SKU with a 3 GHz base clock and a 3 GHz boost clock. Additionally, the chip has 2 MB of L2 cache and 4 MB of L3 cache. The CPU part of the chip has 11 compute units, each with 64 stream processors for a total of 704 stream processors. The GPU is clocked at 800 MHz and is rated at 572.6 megapixels per second of performance according to the benchmark. No info on TDP, but previous unconfirmed roadmaps indicated the chips would have a range from 35 to 95 watts, which will cover a wide market range. The Raven Ridge APUs are expected to release sometime in the second half of this year. Today at NVIDIA's GPU Technology Conference, CEO Jen Sun Huang announced the Tesla V100, the first GPU based on the Volta architecture. And it's a beast! A beast that probably won't benefit you playing your games in your parents' basement, though, but... It might one day, depending on how long you live in your parents' basement. It's powered by 5,120 CUDA cores and built on a 12 nanometer manufacturing process, has over 21 billion transistors and 16 gigabytes of HBM2 running at 900 gigabytes per second. All those specs are a nice boost from the Pascal GPU flagship, the Tesla P100. Volta's streaming microprocessor architecture is said to be 50% more efficient than Pascal's. It cost $3 billion to make and drives the DGX1 supercomputer, but that money was in research and development. So even though you won't be getting this GPU, you can maybe get a better idea of what the next gen GeForce cards will be capable of. They'll be nowhere near this, but think of ideas and stuff. Dream big. <laughs> Apple has bought Bedit. What is Bedit? Well, it's a sleep tracking hardware and software company. They actually have an existing Apple Watch app that works with the Bedit 3 sleep monitor. That device is a flat strip of fabric that you put under your bed sheet and let it lay under you as you sleep. It has sensors for motion, humidity, and temperature and tracks sleep time and quality, heart rate, breathing patterns, sleep efficiency, and more. Bedit devices have been sold since 2015 on the Apple Store website. But with this bio, we'll see how Apple uses Bedit technology in their future products. It will likely be integrated into the next Apple Watch, but we'll have to keep our eye out for what innovative thing they have next in store for all of us. <laughs> it's time for shorter news stories said more quickly than the others, but I'll just say them normally because I'm a normal guy. Microsoft says they will no longer be issuing monthly service and security updates for the original build of Windows 10. So upon the latest major updates, users will have 60 days to update or they won't get any updates after that. So you should probably download the creator's update. And yes, I also need to do that. BioWare's newest game, which is supposed to be a Destiny-style game, was supposed to be coming out this year or maybe early 2018. Well, now it's delayed until EA's fiscal 2019 year, which runs from April 2018 through March 2019. And musicians seem to be playing around with VR experiences these days, now including Childish Gambino. He'll be releasing his album Awaken My Love as Vinyl on May 19th, equipped with a Google Cardboard headset and an app that will give you access to his 360-degree recorded live performances. I don't know if this is a great idea, but I do like his music. I don't know any of the words. I'm sorry, that was a little too silly. Netflix now has HDR streaming on Android, but only on the LG G6 since it's the only phone with an HDR display that Dolby has approved for its Dolby Vision tech. But the Galaxy S8 will probably get it eventually. How many of you guys actually watch Netflix on your phone? I mostly Chromecast or just watch from my PC. Let me know in the comments below. 
And the web browser Opera has a new version called Reborn. A new feature allows you to pin Facebook, WhatsApp, and Telegram. I don't even know what Telegram is, but uh, to the left side of the browser. This means you don't have to have another tab open to respond to your chatter people, but there will be a chat window in the tab you're working in. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to switch between chat apps. Oh no, I'm going back to my original voice. Sources for all of today's stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. If you watch an Apple store get robbed, does that make you an eyewitness? <laughs> Serge, it does, and that's how they get you. If you would like us to say something in particular on this show, uh, then write something on Twitter and then hashtag it NCIXYoDog, uh, and we will see it from that, and then we'll say it on this show. Okay, thank you. All right, everybody, that's it for the Netlink Daily Show. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.